This is a knot practicing block for knots and ropes, which is step one of the outdoor skills branch for woodland trails. All right, for, <clears throat> for this step, we're going to take a, about a two by four. This is, um, I'm using leftover uh, deck boards. Uh, we built a play set for our children and he used uh, treated uh, deck boards a lot of places. Um, so you just basically need something that's good size thickness here, long enough to cut out plenty of little planks and hopefully treat it so that it won't uh, rot away in the with use. They can have it for a while. Uh, my square here has eight inches on it so I can I can get about seven one inch pieces out of here. So I just square up the end here in the middle and just mark each inch. back, square up my mark, now you don't have to worry about being too exact, we're just getting general pieces here. And I'm going to need close to 30 is my estimate. Right now there's about 10 Fox 1's moving to Fox 2, I think. Uh, last year we had about 22 Foxes total in our, in our patrol. So let's just say that if I get total 20 again, and maybe 20, 21 or 22, the best to have close to, closer to 30, so I have extra ones. Uh, you know, the adults can also try to use them uh, as well as, as the boys. So, got my lines crossed here. Basically, when I, after I cut this piece right here, I can just repeat the steps throughout the board. I'm using battery powered circular saw. Powered is probably the best way to go through here because there's a lot, a lot of cuts. But use whatever you have. Make sure you have safety, safety precautions, glasses, not anything's around obstruction and stuff like that. And then go ahead and cut. So right now with this, I have 21 pieces. And an easy way, you're gonna have like rough edges on here. So an easy way to smooth it out instead of getting sandpaper on all of them and just rub the edges together. And that'll help smooth it out. All right, so after you've built your set of Jenga blocks, uh, it's time to add a drill hole. And what we're going to do is just put a hole at one end. And the idea is that later, if you do this again, you can have two pieces on the string. And if you have enough string, and then you can use a knot to lash the two pieces together. So I am going to just use a 5 16 drill bit, which should be plenty of... Uh, width for a paracord uh, type rope. So 
just put it on the end and not you know not too far and the rope can go through and then if you put in a knot And the note, the rope won't go through. All right, the next step is we're going to take two different colored of similar paracord. I got the nylon, nylon blend, 550 paracord, 1 8 inch, 550 feet. That's 130 pound strength. Uh, I have 28 pieces, 28 boards with holes. And I'm going to do a foot a piece of each color to get two feet. So I only need 28 lengths each. And then after we cut these together, then we'll put them together. But first we're going to cut 28 one foot lengths of paracord. All right, after you've made all your cuts on both of the ropes, you'll need to go through and make sure that you take a lighter to the ends <clears throat> that uh, melts the, uh, the frayed uh, pieces in together. And then you can try this, but it, it won't make a difference. Um, you can try melting the two together you got to hold them together for a little bit to stick and all that will really do is just make it easier for the next step which is basically we're going to wrap the connected ends with um, some duct tape so after you get all your ends so after you get all your ends put together, then take some uh, duct tape. I got Gorilla Tape here. And put the middle of the ends together. Roll it around one time. That's all we need. right in your hole you made and if it's a little bit thick you can just push it through a couple times and it'll flatten out some so now you have a rope with a hole to try out knots to stop going through the hole and then also for knots where you need a standing in and a working in so that you know which one moves around on the other by the different colors make it easier for them to to see